The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Lucha Dragons from Mexico City, weighing in at 170 pounds, Kalisto. Well, this superstar has all the tools needed to win this one. Now let's see if he can put them together. The Raw crowd here tonight is definitely fired up for this one. level inside the arena rising. I think our Monday night just got a little better thanks to this amazing match we have coming up here. There's no telling what these competitors will do in Extreme Rules, but I can guarantee we're about to find out. Oh, God. That was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree. As we watch Kalisto, let's get your take on him. The sky's the limit. I see a lot of main events in the future. These guys are giving it their all here tonight, not just to entertain the fans, but to ultimately walk away with the win. What a vicious elbow attack. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole. What's he going to do here? King Kalisto's innovative offense is unlike anything I've seen in years. Yeah, and not only is he executing moves that have never even been seen or dripped of, but he does it with lightning quick speed. Oh, out of nowhere. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I can feel the breeze all the way over here. Kalisto's plan has got him on a roll here tonight. And into the cover. Makes the and a kick out. And that's all that matters. This match continues. We've talked a bit about Kalisto's speed, but his agility, I'd say, is equally amazing, particularly when he takes to the air and starts contorting his body in ways never thought imaginable. Does this guy remind you of me or what? <clears throat> the kick lands. Extra slow getting back to his base here. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. Look at this hang time! Incredible! And you couldn't be any more right about Kalisto's mid-air agility, Cole. I guess that's why they call him the King of Flight. Get it? King! Oh, he missed. Oh, -ho. nobody home that time. And there's the reversal from Sin Cara. Barely any damage has been inflicted so far, but this one's not over yet. Oh! Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. 
He's showing amazing agility here. Whoa! Yeah, this guy is amazing. Well, we're on the move here. You know, Cole, Sankara could end this match with any move at any moment. He's really that good. But it's his top rope senton that has proven to be most impactful. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't agree with you, King. This is the type of attack that just wears down an opponent. Yeah, and you can see it working right here. Doing a great job of avoiding any serious offense. That'll go a long way as this one progresses. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Yeah, I, I, I think this is good strategy. You're right, Kang. We've seen Sin Cara put opponents away with a series of different moves. But it seems like the Senton Bomb is the move he goes to most. The one he really trusts in big situations. Yeah, and just watching Sin Cara glide through the air and route to landing the Senton, that's a thing of beauty. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Man, that shoulder may very well be dislocated. Every time he has to get up, it takes more and more effort. Getting some air here. I need some too after sitting next to you. Not today. Too fast. Oh! Sin Cara is Mexico's most popular luchador for a reason. There's almost nothing he can't do inside that ring, from a tilt the world head scissor to a springboard moonsault. Ow! Ooh. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Did you hear the impact? What a shot. I don't know if I've ever seen a weapon used that sounded like it imploded on impact. This is a dog fight, a ferocious dog fight, and there's nothing like it. King, you brought up a few of Sin Cara's most awe-inspiring moves earlier, but let's not forget that he also possesses an arsenal of high-impact maneuvers as well, particularly his repertoire of lethal kicks. Yeah, you're right, and of course, his tornado DDT packs quite a punch. And if acrobatics is your thing, look out for Sin Cara's handspring back elbow. And that's a thing of beauty. Ah, there was no hit. And that's a hard landing to the outside. Oh, look out. All right, now that's what I'm talking about. This just became my kind of fight. I like it when things get down and dirty in there. Attacking from the top. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. Great match here, but if you missed any of the matches from this week, go to WWE.com to catch up on all the action. I go to WWE.com all the time to catch up on the Divas. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Raw. I'm sure you are just as entertained as we are here at ringside. Watching the superstars file into the arena earlier today, you could tell that they have a just a different mind. Kalisto unleashes the Listo kick, stick a fork in him. He's done. Another big victory, I think, here for Kalisto, but it's not over yet. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong there.
He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. Quick thinking to avoid that. My God, his body's been through as hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Uh-oh. What great action we've had in this match. I'm absolutely loving it, Cole. Come on, aren't you? Look how excited you are. Oh, and did you hear the impact? I didn't think this could get any worse. After this match, it won't look like they were in a fight. It'll look like they were hit by a car. And into the cover. And it's up. He got the shoulder up. Man, this has been a great matchup. You're right about that, Cole. A mad classic. He set it up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Warm up the buses. This one's over. One, two, three. What a win. Man, he's got to feel great. There was no love lost in that match. And look at the impact in these highlights. One in a million is the only way to describe this match. You want to talk about crowd pleasing? Oh, they threw everything they had at each other in this match. Here's your winner, representing the Lucha Dragons, Kalisto. He earned every bit of that victory here tonight. Now, uh, when you bring such a high level of intensity into the match, good things are bound to happen to you. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one.